It's time for the RMAC Radio Show, featuring all the latest information from around the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. The RMAC is a proud member of NCAA Division II. Now, here's your host, Eric Danner. Welcome to the RMAC Radio Show. My name is Eric Danner. This is our final show of the 2012 year. We're going to take a couple weeks off uh, for the holidays and then come back strong first week in 2013. Speaking of strong, we're going to start off with men's basketball today. How about those Western State Mountaineers 4-0 in RMAC action? We're going to talk to their head coach, Mike Moskowitz, in just a minute or two here. Also going to talk some women's basketball in segment number two and wrap things up with national champion runner Alicia Nelson of Adams State. She captured the national championship a couple weeks back in Joplin, Missouri. What a season she had, not only winning the national championship, also won the regional championship and the RMAC title all in the same year. So we're going to have her on in segment number three. But we start with RMAC men's basketball. We got how many teams? Five, four or five teams uh, still undefeated in RMAC play. Colorado Mesa, Western State, both at 4-0. Adams State and Metro State, both at 3-0. So that would be four teams currently undefeated in the RMAC. And uh, maybe the eyebrow raiser of that bunch has to be the Western State Mountaineers. We're now hit, joined by their head coach, Mike Moskowitz. Coach Moskowitz, how's it going today? Uh, going great, Eric. Thanks for having me on. Hey, Coach. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I guess you know people around the league might be a little surprised uh, at your four and zero start, but I'm guessing people in Gunnison aren't too surprised. No, I think uh, you know. I think people here in Gunnison have kind of seen what we're trying to build over the last couple of years, and uh, kind of and hopefully expected that from us. Um, so it's been an exciting time here at the beginning of the season, but uh, it's still a long way to go. Western State had a couple wins this past weekend, beating New Mexico Islands 84-73, and then followed that up with a win over Western New Mexico 73-71. Uh, Coach, those New Mexico teams always uh, play tough. Uh, tell me what this weekend was like for you. Uh, this past weekend was tough. You know, Both those teams are, are rather athletic and well-coached and uh, come in with uh, high expectations on their season also. And I was proud of our guys to be able to, uh, you know, play through, through some adversity and, and areas of the game that uh, weren't that proficient and still pull out victories. And uh, that says a lot to those uh, our guys' resilience and um, just staying together as a team. Talking with Mike Moskowitz now in his sixth season as head coach at Western State. And anybody who looks at your roster coach uh, probably gets a little bit of a chuckle because you have the two guys, you have uh, – Joseph Charles and Charles Joseph, they both happen to be in a, two of your better players. Um, how did that work out where you have two guys with such similar names on your roster? That, that's a little crazy. I don't know. We started recruiting uh, Joe out of Northeastern, uh, I don't know, about May or April or, April or May, and uh, we just found it ironic. And when you meet Joe, he's got a great personality, heck of a competitor, kind of like uh, Charles Joseph is. So, um, you know, it's definitely a tongue twister for the radio people and everybody else that comes involved with our program. Talking with Mike Moskowitz, head men's basketball coach at Western State Colorado University. Coach, uh, you have the name changer. You're an old school guy. Uh, have you got used to that yet? Um, I have. You know, it's, you have to kind of, that's a tongue twister too. Every time you talk out in public, you try to remember it whether it's Western State College University or Western State Colorado University. So I think that's where everybody gets their hang of that. And the Mountaineers currently 4-0 and in the RMAC. They're 5-3 and overall and a couple of really big ball games coming up this weekend as they travel to Adams State on Sunday and then uh, Fort Lewis on Monday with uh, kind of some uh, graduations, that, that kind of thing going on, a uh, little different schedule than, than maybe we have uh, during most of the school year, Coach. How do you approach that? Uh, and especially you got the holidays coming up after that, uh, and you got two of the biggest ball games uh, that, that maybe in your tenure as head coach in your six years coming up. How do you approach this weekend? Uh, you know, the same way we have for the last few weeks. Uh, our, we're kind of creatures of habit in the sense of how we prepare. And, um, you know, we just moved everything back a date and a uh, day. And I think our guys, we're kind of a veteran crew. We've got eight or nine guys over 21 years old, so the body kind of wears and tears after a long preseason. So it's been good for us to get a little bit of a rest and let our guys kind of focus on their academics, which is the most important thing. And um, they're, they're pretty dialed in on what they need to do this weekend. Uh, and it should be an exciting time for Western State uh, basketball. 
Talking with Mike Moskowitz, head men's basketball coach at Western State. And that Adam State game, Coach, uh, always is big just because of the rivalry. Now you guys are 4-0. They're 3-0 and in the RMAC. I know a lot of people have said, uh, you know, both of your teams look like two of the better teams in the RMAC this year. Have you had a chance to to scout them and Fort Lewis because you got them uh, right afterwards? And, and Fort Lewis, uh, you know, Bob Hoffman always has a great team down there as well. Uh, what do you know about these two teams? Uh, both of them, well, we all know they're both very well coached and, uh, and, and they do the things the right way. Um, you know, but uh, for, for us, we just try to prepare for ourselves. We don't try to do too much in regards to the opponent, um, early in the week. We try to focus on ourselves and what we need to get better at. And then as this week goes on, we, we prepare for the teams that we're facing that weekend. But, you know, with Adams, you're facing an athletic group that's always going to be, uh, be a challenge to, uh, figure out what works against them. A lot of guys they play, you know, coming off the bench. And um, Fort Lewis, obviously, they're one of the best offensive teams in the RMAC. They have been for years, and it is, I think they're really good defensively this year, also. Um, and both these teams are obviously picking the top five or six, I think, in our league. So uh, we, we view it as a challenge to go into their place and, and, and play our, our style of basketball, and hopefully, we can come out with a victory. Western State has several players averaging in double figures right now. We mentioned. Charles Joseph and Joseph Charles, both guys in double figures. Uh, Charles Joseph, Coach, we talked to you a little bit about him last year, I believe, on the RMAC radio show. He's got an interesting story uh, coming out, I believe, Brooklyn, New York, and he's a he's a bigger guy, which we don't see a lot of guys like that in the RMAC, and i got to imagine that's uh, part of the reason you guys are sitting at 4-0. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, he's a load, that's for sure. He's done his uh... – He's done a due diligence as far as over the summer and the preseason to get himself in shape and make him a better basketball player and handling the stuff he needs to in the classroom. And he, he's somebody that you got a you got a game plan for. Uh, I don't know if anybody else one on one in the league can really handle him that way. So um, I, you know, we, we obviously make it a point to go into there first, make them have to stop that part of our game, and then uh, kind of go from there. But he's been a, a big part of our success, no doubt. Well, hey, Coach, uh, we want to wish you the best of luck. Uh, good good talking basketball this time of year, and good luck to you the rest of the way. Thanks, Eric. I appreciate you guys' time. All right, that is Mike Moskowitz, the head men's basketball coach at Western State Colorado University in a 4-0 start, 5-3 and overall. Uh, the team, you know, a lot of people are talking about as a potential RMAC champions this year. Or Metro State, they're sitting at 3-0, and 7-0 7-0 overall, and they are number three in the latest uh, national coaches poll, our Armac Bodden Players of the Week. Trevor Wages of Colorado Mines is our Offensive Player of the Week. This guy's already been uh, Player of the Week a couple of times on the defensive side of the ball. This week averaged 23 points, 16.5 rebounds to get the Offensive Player of the Week nod. And then the Defensive Player of the Week goes to J-Mo, Jonathan Morse of Metro State, senior 6'8", out of Boulder, he helped Metro State to dominate in the paint in two road wins over the weekend, averaging 9.5 rebounds, 2.5 block shots, and 1.5 steals. So he gets our Armac Bodden Defensive Player of the Week. For more on what happened this past weekend, let's head over to Chris Poulton with our Armac Recap. Thanks, Eric. Metro State stays perfect as they roll on the road. Demetrius Miller led the Roadrunners by averaging 25 and a half points per game. Miller scored 31 against UC Colorado Springs in the 79-54 win, and then 20 the following night against CSU Pueblo as Metro State completed the weekend sweep 88 to 68. Colorado Mesa stays perfect in conference thanks to Colton Bergen's two big performance. Bergen made the final bucket with four seconds left against Western New Mexico to win 59-58. New Mexico Highlands was the victim the next night as Bergen put up 17 points and grabbed six boards. Mavs win 81-75. Western State completed the weekend sweep at home against these same two teams. Mountaineers having two players in Charles Joseph and Terrence Boyd with double doubles in the 84-73 victory over the Cowboys. Saturday night WSCU got another double-double from Joseph as the Mustangs lose another close one on the road, 73-71. Colorado Mines sweeps at home, taking down Shadron State Friday night, 72-67. And then Saturday night, clipping Black Hill State, 69-64. Or digger forward Trevor Wages with 26 points and 16 boards in the weekend finale. Colorado Christian hosting these same two teams and got upset by the Yellow Jackets who posted their first 
Armac win 72-68. The Cougars bounced back the following night, thumping the Eagles 79-65. Regis went on the road and earned a respectable split. Pueblo had no problem with the Rangers the first night, winning big 82-58. RU bounces back the next night, beating the Mountain Lions 77-67. Rivalry game in Durango as Adam State goes into Wayland Gymnasium and escapes with the 82-76 victory over Fort Lewis. I'm Chris Poulton, and that's your RMAC Recap. Thank you, Chris. So some games coming up this week. CSU Pueblo makes a trip down to New Mexico as well as UCCS. They'll play Western New Mexico and Highlands. Black Hill State at Metro State on the 15th. Shadron plays at Regis. Cowata Mines just goes across town to play CCU. UCCS at Western New Mexico and CSU Pueblo at Highlands. As we mentioned, they're playing the 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, which are those Sunday, Monday uh, ball games. we got uh, Shadron at Metro, Black Hills at Regis, Mesa at Fort Lewis, Western at Adams, and then turning around on the Monday, the 17th, Western at Fort Lewis, Mesa at Adams. So some very large ball games. We're not going to have uh, as many undefeated teams as we do currently because there's going to be some head-to-head matchups between those undefeated teams. When we come back, we're going to talk women's basketball. You're listening to the RMAC Radio Show. <laughs> 